your entertainment ticket. We're here at the Marriott North in Fort Lauderdale. And uh, this is John Gillia. And I want to introduce the rest of the rest of the crew here. We have Ellen Darnay, Al McGee, right. and Denise Castellon. And I'm John Gillia. Boy, we all got together here today because we weren't we did a big film today called Mongo. Mm -hmm. And uh, well, um, let's start it right out. Uh, Mongo, of course, is a, a great motion picture. It was uh, nominated for Academy Award. Uh, it didn't win this past year, but but it should have. Uh, it, it looks like it should have. So here we go. We'll start right, right away with Al. What do you think? Well, I thought the movie was very good. I really enjoyed it. I, but what I really enjoyed was the technical parts of it, it was the, uh, the camera work, the costumes, the scenery of it, and, and the acting, too. But it was a good story, too. And... I got really pulled in into, into the life of the lead uh, character, or Genghis Kung. He was, this is based on Genghis Kung. Uh, he was a uh, Mongol warrior who conquered even Russia at that time. And so, you know, the movie was very good. I really enjoyed it. Um, how about you, Denise? Well, it was interesting to see the backstory on uh, how Genghis Khan got his uh, start as the uh, warlord or the Mongols. And, but what I really uh, was especially interesting to me was the love story between his wife, uh, Borte, and himself and how uh, that relationship endured uh -huh. despite the, the separations and hardships. Yeah, his, uh, actually, in the movie, Temujin uh, becomes Genghis Khan. Um, let me t give you to Alan. It's really an epic film. Um, it, in the style of David Lean, uh, it reminded me of films like uh, Lawrence of Arabia or The Bridge on the River Kwai. And, uh, and, and we don't see very many epic films anymore. So I, I think it's worth your while just to see this thing. But it's a brilliant, brilliant film. I, I enjoyed it thoroughly. Uh, Probably financed in Russia. And I don't know how he got the money to do this film, but it... Uh, <laughs> As it certainly cost a lot of money. It took six months to make wow. uh, or to film. To Is film, it? yes. Wow. And the cast of thousands. Um, it was subtitled, but the subtitles were very easy to read, and mm -hmm. they were in, located in interesting locations yep. throughout the film, which kind of I think added to the overall look of the whole film. I just would give it four stars. It's an, just an excellent, excellent film. Yeah, I would give it four stars too because the director Sergei Bordov, he's a uh, one of Russia's great. Uh, contemporary directors today. He has done some things in the past, so you know, look him up. Because uh, the work he did on this movie, Mongo, was very, very good. Not only that, it kept you interested in it, too. Because you wanted to see what's going to happen next. Am I right, John? Yeah, uh, Mongo is a great film. I liked it a lot. Uh, I gotta say that it's probably the best foreign film this year, even though it's last year's film. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I think that if you can get in to see this film, uh, and uh, you're going to love it. Uh, it starts out big and it ends big. A lot of fighting, a lot of action. There are, there are some scenes of brutality in the film, so watch when taking the children to, to see the film. Oh, but, I would. I would take a child to see this film because it's, it's a little bit about history. And, and uh, you've got to remember, too, the Mongols at that time, they controlled Russia and uh, uh, mainly uh, Actually, uh, Asia ruled, at the time. They ruled the known world at the time. Yeah. At the time. Histor true. Historically, yes. But again, just be cautious when taking very, the very young because it is a, a brutal film. Um, I... Again, I like the film very much. I think you'll like it. I don't want to give you too much of, a way, of it away. Uh, just a little unknown fact that uh, Sergei Bardov, who did the uh, directing for the film, mm. also uh, sp spends some of his time, a third of his time, in Kazakhstan. Uh, just to let you know a little bit about the, uh, that end of it, uh, which sort of, I thought it was cool. You know, well, it was a majestically epic film. Uh, it did have some mystical aspects to it yeah. uh, concerning the the uh, religion of the time in Mongolia and reference to the uh, Lord of the Big Sky. But it, there were a couple instances that reflected on his uh, childhood past, but it didn't really quite explain how he, he uh, survived some of the hardships. Like, you know, for instance, when he fell through uh, frozen ice. And it really didn't show how he escaped that. It just showed him, uh, you know, being found in a bank of snow, for instance. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, then he, when he uh, reached the sacrilegious uh, uh, holy place to uh, pray to this uh, god, he was being stalked by a wolf. 
maybe probably representing well, the no, god the, the in, you know, in a form. The right, god the god in, uh, in a I form. I remember is that when the, when the legend becomes bigger than the fact, then you print the legend, and that's what they did in this film. So in, in those one or two instances they where they it. let you wonder uh, how he got out of certain situations and made it feel like it was his god who did it, um, I, I think we have to go along with that. And yeah, you have the to, legend. because they didn't have anything written down about uh, Genghis Khan. Because this is a mythical character, it's hard to find what is really the truth, but in this film, they really did a good job of putting a whole story together about the Genghis Khan. At that time, they had each village had storytellers, and the storyteller would relate the story. And as as the um, as the stories were related, they the, they were expanded upon. Uh, the characters were deified, and uh, all those things. And though though Genghis Khan and his son Kubla after him were were really large figures in history, oh, yeah. who conquered the world and mm -hmm. and held it for over 200 years, ruled the world, the known world for 200 years. That's, that's being successful at what you're doing, I think. Oh, just as long as the United States, huh? George Bush, think about that. <laughs> so he's got to throw something in about that. Uh, any other last word? Overall, I think this film is a story about survival and manifesting your own destiny. I say go. Yeah, I give it four stars. Don't miss this one. Don't miss this one. You want to close us out, Jim? Thank you for watching Your Entertainment Ticket, yourentertainmentticket.com. And uh, we want to thank my guests. Alan Darnay, Big Al McGee, and Denise Castillon. Uh, we had a great time with this film. I hope you'll like it a lot and come back soon and also visit the Marriott North in Fort Lauderdale. It's a beautiful hotel. This yeah. one's renovated. Mm -hmm. Really good. It's got a great restaurant. And uh, come on in and thank you very much. I want to thank them very much for hosting. <laughs>